What's up guys, it's CJ from SmartKTai.com. So if you've ever checked out the Motorola Zoom, Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1, LG G Slate, the Transformer, or pretty much any other Android tablet running Honeycomb, then you've probably seen the custom lock screen used across all of those devices. Well now you can have that same lock screen experience on your Android smartphone with an app called Ripple Lock. There's a free version in the Android market, but I suggest using that more like a demo because it displays an advertisement uh, along the top of the screen, which can get a little bit annoying. I believe the full version costs $1.40, uh, so it's not too much to ask since you'll be using it on a daily basis uh, if you like what it does. I'll post links in the description below. And another thing I should note is that you do not need to be rooted to use uh, this app. It'll work on completely stock Android phones, uh, so anybody can get it up and running in a matter of seconds. So let's go ahead and take a look. First, we're going to look at the lock screen on an actual honeycomb uh, tablet so you can see what the original looks like. So here we have this little lock symbol and then when we go to unlock the device, you can see it forms this larger circle around the smaller circle. It's almost like we're swimming around in a puddle here. You can see the ripple effect uh, taking into effect. So let's go ahead and unlock the device and there we go. It's unlocked. Try not to be distracted by this lovely new Koi Live wallpaper, uh, which we've reviewed on our YouTube channel as well. But it unlocks the device. We'll do that one more time for those of you who haven't really seen the Honeycomb lock screen. So we have our date and time over on the left, and then we just unlock the device as so. So very basic lock screen functionality. So here we have Ripple Lock. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this. So here we have an Evo 3D. Obviously the Evo 3D comes with Sense 3.0's uh, new lock screen, which is pretty good. But say I wanted to run this honeycomb style lock screen, I can do that with a ripple lock. And here we have our icon here. As you can see, when you tap and hold it, you get this little ripple effect and then you bring the small circle out of the larger circle and it unlocks as so. So pretty cool effect there. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. There are some more features I have to show you with this lock screen. So we have our date and time up here. I actually applied a honeycomb style uh, background to this to make it more official. But here we go, we just unlock as so. Now if we go into the settings of Ripple Lock, we'll actually see some more features here. So we can customize the font style which is nice. Customize the size of the font and you can even customize the font color. If you go into background settings you can either select the wallpaper uh, you currently have running on your home screen or you can select an image. Then we have shortcut settings. Now this is an interesting feature. If you enable this, this will allow you to set four different apps on your lock screen uh, which basically allows you to access those apps directly from the lock screen without having to unlock uh, the device first so it saves you a bit of time and of course if you tap on it you can see that we can actually disable one of these two of these uh, three of them or obviously all four so you can actually customize that as well so I've already set some apps here so we'll just leave that as it is screen orientation so we can have it auto rotate this does work in landscape I have it fixed to vertical right now unlock animation we had the fade effect I'm going to go to default, but you can see we actually have some basic transitions as well. We have left to right animation, right to left, uh, top to bottom, and bottom to top. I'll go with default, which should be pretty much a quick animation or no animation, I guess you can say. Here we have date format. I'll leave it on default, but there you saw the options. We can display the vibrate icon. I'll show you that in a second. Display music controls, display carrier. Not sure who wants to proudly display their carrier, but you can do that. Uh, display status bar, I'll go ahead and do that as well. Display the lock icon. So if you don't want that lock icon to be there, you can turn that off. Uh, unlock vibrate. That'll basically uh, make your phone vibrate when you unlock it. Disable status bar uh, when you expand it. So if you want your status bar showing up in the lock screen, you can either have it uh, expandable or non-expandable. And then always display battery. Why not turn that on real quick? Alright, so let's turn off the device. 
turn it back on and there is our lock screen with our app shortcuts here we have the battery percentage right there and now we can actually access our notification window like I said before you can disable uh, that expandability so here we have uh, our app shortcuts let's go ahead and launch the internet directly from the lock screen so we just drag it in there and then bang we're right in the internet browser very cool and one more thing I wanted to show you oops let that activate if you tap and hold you can see we have this little vibrate icon so this allows you to toggle through your uh, various sound profiles. So now it's on vibrate, you can see it's changed in the status bar. Let's change it back to the regular sound profile. And there we go, it goes back as so. So very cool that you can unlock directly to an app. Uh, very cool that you can actually run the honeycomb style lock screen on your Android smartphone now without too much uh, hacking or anything like that. You just download the app straight from the market and it works as you just saw in this video. So this was Ripple Lock for Android. It basically allows us to get the Honeycomb lock screen on our Android smartphones. I'll post a link to the downloads in the description below, so be sure to check those out if you're interested. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.